Coming up on Cedar Valley Today, Iowa is experiencing a nurse shortage. Waverly Shell Rock High School renovates its auditorium. And Wartburg students prepare to go on winter service trips. This is Cedar Valley Today. Hello and welcome to Cedar Valley Today. I'm Christine Alexander. And I'm Kaylin Thompson. The Cedar Valley and even the state of Iowa is facing a shortage of nurses. It's not a new problem, but the aging population means it could get worse for some hospitals. How are you feeling today? Simple supply and demand. When there's a higher demand, you need to supply more. But some hospitals across the state aren't able to supply more nurses with a growing health care demand. As the American population uh, which mirrors the nursing population uh, ages, uh, those folks are simply going to need more rather than less uh, nursing and medical care than they've uh, needed in the past. Allen College Chancellor and Professor of Nursing Jerry Durham says the retirement of the baby boom generation and increased access to health care through the Affordable Care Act are also factors in the nursing shortage. The U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics reports that by 2024, there will be over 1 million registered nursing jobs to fill. Allen Hospital is currently feeling the shortage as manager of clinical recruitment Jan Erpeldeen says the hospital has 65 RN openings to date. Chief Clinical and Nursing Officer Joanne Natham says Waverly Health Center isn't so much feeling the shortage, but more struggling with turnover rate. We are sort of a stepping stone. People learn a lot of their basic skills to begin with when they're first out of school. Whether it's Allen Hospital recruiting new nurses or Waverly Health Center trying to retain current ones, healthcare employees say both are important in the current nursing shortage. But I do believe that even in nursing shortages, um, nurses are still able to manage extra and still provide good care. To help with the shortage, both hospitals say they participate in job fairs and are clinical sites for nursing students. To see RN job openings at either Allen Hospital or Waverly Health Center, we've posted their websites on our Facebook page and app. The Waverly Chamber of Commerce has opened up applications for the Facade Improvement Grant. The grants are used to help improve the storefront of Waverly area businesses. For more information and for the application, go to www.waverlyia.com.chamberofcommerce. Audience members at Rada Auditorium will be treated to better sound quality the next time they attend a performance. The auditorium at Waverly Shell Rock High School has finished installing its new acoustic system. The system includes panels on lines to be raised and lowered according to the needs of the performance. With the Booster Club sending out thousands of letters, the school was able to raise over $90,000. We got together with uh, everybody in the Fine Arts program, uh, from speech to the play to the musical, orchestra, band, choir, and uh, we decided that we wanted to put in an acoustical cloud. And uh, we needed that in addition to uh, more lighting, in addition to uh, some more shells to go across the back, and to upgrade the sound system that we have. Waverly Shell Rock will be hosting a concert tonight at 7 p.m. to showcase the new sound system. The concert will feature Wartburg College professor Derek, Dr. Eric Walkman. Some students at Wartburg are choosing to spend their break a little differently. During winter break, several students will be participating in service trips. Service trips provide opportunities for students to give back over their breaks. There are a total of 16 trips this year with 120 students, faculty and staff involved. Groups are made up of two student leaders, an advisor and participant, and each trip focuses on a different social issue. Service trips is a great opportunity for Warburg students because they get an opportunity to serve in the community, give back, get to know other students on campus that they wouldn't know from other places and classes, and it gives them an opportunity to learn about different cultures and different people. The Wartburg players are looking to add more pizzazz to their program. The Wartburg players recently sent out a survey to students asking for feedback on their shows. Wartburg players is a theater group that 
performs multiple productions throughout the year. They hope this survey will help add variety to their programs. Um, since in the past years we haven't had a lot of student um, full campus-wide activities go on, we're looking to branch out and move on from that, giving more opportunities to the campus. The Wartburg College website will be getting a new look over winter break. This has been a nine-month project. The change comes because the marketing and communication department wants to stay on top of web marketing trends. The website will be a responsive design which will make the website easier to use and view. When we come back, a longtime Wartburg coach is taking his last strides as a knight. When was the last time you got hyped up about your checking account? It's easy at State Bank. With hype checking, you can earn up to 2.04% APY on balances up to $25,000. Plus, get a free debit card with unlimited transactions, reimbursement up to $15 in ATM fees per cycle, free online banking, mobile banking, bill pay, and more. Get hyped up at State Bank with checking that earns you more. Open yours today. State Bank. Community-minded. Customer-focused. Member FDIC. The Knights have experienced some highs and lows in sports this week. After 27 years, the Wartburg assistant track and field and head cross-country coach will attend his last indoor conference track meet. Assistant coach Steve Johnson will travel with the Knights to Storm Lake as they compete in the Iowa Intercollegiate Athletic Conference Championship indoor track and field meet. Johnson said the conference meet is one of the most fun of the year because of the atmosphere. He also said he has learned a lot from his coaching career. Johnson will retire from Wartburg in May after the outdoor season. That would be an impossible question to answer. What do you take away? Um, so many things. Uh, the number one thing is, and the most, most fun and the most memories are just the people. Thursday night, the Wartburg men's basketball team took home a 92-77 win over the Buena Vista Beavers. They were lead in scoring by guard Nick Weber, who finished with a career-high 28 points. The win pushes the Knights into the championship game for the second straight year. They will host the Central Dutch on Saturday at 7 p.m. in Levick Arena. Next, we see what's trending in the Cedar Valley. Stay with us. Are you a high school senior passionate about becoming a writer, producer, editor, or even a cinematographer? Wartburg College's Department of Journalism and Communication wants students like you to join our award-winning creative community. We've created a digital cinema and production program centered on real-world experiences with a goal of helping you master digital skills in video, audio, and live production. You'll have the opportunity to work in our digital production control room, live recording studios, and have access to our full line of digital cinema gear. This program is designed for digital creatives who want to explore areas such as screenwriting, producing and directing, digital cinematography and lighting design, music production and digital audio recording, live video production and streaming. We're committed to training the next generation of digital storytellers. For more information about Wartburg's Department of Journalism and Communication, find us online and on Facebook. Here's what's trending in the Cedar Valley. Stamp Chocolaterie in Cedar Falls will be ho hosting an event this Sunday from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. The Chocolate Open House is co-sponsored by the Cedar Falls Food Co-op, who supports locally grown organic products. People will be able to try samples of gelato and chocolate coins. The Bar Camp is coming to the Cedar Valley. During the conference, participants get to hear from local creatives, entrepreneurs, and developers. The event is being held from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Saturday, March 5th at the TechWorks campus in Waterloo. And now, let's take a quick look at your weather.
your dream car evolves, and protecting it takes committed support. American Family Insurance. Look at you and answer. I'm here with Rosemary Hagensick from a &R Travel Agency in Waverly to talk all things spring break. Thank you for joining us, Rosemary. So first, can you tell us what are some of the most popular destinations for college students? The first probably popular destination is Panama City in Florida. Um, it's easy to get to and there's usually quite a few concerts to attend. Um, if you're looking for a ski vacation, Colorado, Utah, Nevada have great destinations since we're limited with snow. Um, otherwise, if you're looking for an all-inclusive, usually Cancun in Mexico is popular. And what are some of the lesser known gems that people might not have heard of? Um, I would say anywhere in the local areas. Minneapolis is a great getaway. Go to Mall of America. Um, go to Lakes of the Ozarks. That's kind of popular. And what are some ways to keep the travel costs down? Driving will keep your costs down. Flights are increasing. It's expensive. You don't have to rent a car when you're there if you already are driving. Now, can you tell us about some packing trips, um, packing tips, and uh, how do they differ depending on where you travel to? Sure. I always recommend to pack light. Um, it's easier to get around, to explore the city without a lot of suitcases. You can keep your fees down by not having to pay additional luggage costs. And uh, how should the travelers make sure that they stay safe and, uh, for example, not get robbed when they go on a trip? Sure. I always recommend to keep copies of your itineraries um, in case you lose them. Keep copies of a passport or ID in case they were to get robbed. You still have a copy. Go to the consulate. Go to City Hall. They can help you there. And since we're talking about all things security, how should they make sure that they stay healthy? Um, just be informed. Make sure you look at the CDC website. Check with your doctor before you go anywhere. They'll usually recommend if you need any vaccinations or shots. Now you mentioned the CDC. Um, are there less people going to Central and South America because of the Zika virus, maybe? Um, that may have an impact. However, I think the media has kind of blown it out of proportion. Check into the specific city and see if it is affected. Um, there's quite a few service trips that go into cities that people have never heard of and they're not on the news. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Rosemary. Um, and go to a and uh, in Waverly if you still don't know where to go over the break. And if you're not traveling this weekend, after a break, we'll look at the top three things to do in the Cedar Valley this weekend. When was the last time you got hyped yeah, up? Thank you. Oh, thank you. It's easy at State Bank. With hype checking, you can earn up to 2.04% APY on balances up to $25,000. Plus, get a free debit card with unlimited transactions, reimbursement up to $15 in ATM fees per cycle, free online banking, mobile banking, bill pay, and more. Get hyped up at State Bank with checking that earns you more. Open yours today. State Bank. Community-minded, customer-focused. Member FDIC. Here are events happening across the Cedar Valley this weekend. To kick off the weekend, Crossroads Center Mall will be hosting the Proms Closet event Friday and Saturday. Gently used dresses are $10, show, shoes are 3 and accessories are 1 Theater, you and I will present the Glass Menagerie Friday through Sunday. This passionate story explains the power of memories. Also in Cedar Falls all weekend, the Austin Region Theater will be performing Vanya and Sonia and Masha and Spike. The engaging comedy takes a close peek into sibling relationships. So Kaylin, what are you planning to do this spring break? Well, for my spring break, um, Warburg has a week off of school, so I'm going to be heading down home to the Des Moines area and I'll just be relaxing at home with my family. What about you, Christina? I think I will be working over the spring break, unfortunately, preparing for my conference, and it's, it's going to be a working break. Very yeah. nice. And a lot of, I know a lot of Warburg students are going on service trips. Yes. One of my friends is actually one of the leaders going to New York, so I think that's a really cool opportunity. I think students may need to check that out for maybe the upcoming tour week and even next year. Yeah, last winter break I went to Austin, Texas, and it was amazing. We got to work with kids. I got to explore Texas. I've never been there, so it was a lot of fun. Great. Thanks for watching Cedar Valley today. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And you can also download our Cedar Valley Today app, available on iTunes and Google Play Store. Have a great weekend and spring break, Cedar Valley.